everybody, it's Stephanie, and today I'm here with a new DIY. We're going to be making Peter Pan collars, and a lot of the tutorials out there are really complicated, so I'm going to make it as simple and as easy as possible. I'm going to show you how to make two Peter Pan collars, and all you have to do is hand sew a few pieces together. So let's get started. So what you need for the first collar is lace appliques, which look like this. You can get these at your local craft store. These were actually only 25 cents a piece and you're going to need two. They come in a variety of colors that you can choose from. Um, you just want to make sure that they have kind of like a swooped backing so that they curve around your neck and you'll see what I'm talking about when you look for these. You're also just going to need thread that matches the lace appliques, ribbon that matches also, so this is all white, some sort of button to add detailing. And you don't need a button, it's optional, but I just think it looks cute. So the first thing that you want to do is just lay them out on a flat surface and see, determine where you're going to sew them together. So just thread your needle and tack it right there with a little thread. Alright, so there are only two more steps and we'll be done. Cut two pieces off of your ribbon. And all we're going to do is we're going to sew them to the back of our collar, just right here so you can't see them. Just hand sew a little line across them on both sides so that you can tie it and it can be worn with several different shirts. Alright, so here is your finished Peter Pan collar. To add a little bit of glitz to it, we can add a button into the center of it. Just like this, just hand sew it right in the middle, which is what I'm going to do right now. Alright guys, so this is our first completed Peter Pan collar. This one required little to no sewing, so hope you guys can try this one out. Okay, so for the second one you're also going to need thread, a button, scissors, and this time we're going to be using lace trim. This lace trim comes in so many different colors, and it also comes in different tier levels. I actually picked one with two lace tier levels, as you can see. Some of them come with three, some of them come with one. You can just Pick which one you like best, your personal style. So the first step is taking your lace trimming and measuring from the back of your neck to the center. Now you want to give it about half an inch extra because we're going to be folding some over. So then you just want to take it like this, fold it in half, and just go ahead and cut it off from the rest. Now you just want to take this and cut it in half one more time. So now we're going to be working with one piece of the lace trimming at a time. We're going to flip it over, take one of the points, one end, and pull it to a diagonal. And then you want to make sure that you also pull the second tier or the third tier. We're going to tack this part down and tack this part down. So then it's going to give us the curved effect of a Peter Pan collar. Okay, so here's the first half of our Peter Pan collar. As you can see, when we tacked it down, the lace trimming formed the curve naturally um, to give it that Peter Pan effect. Now you want to do that to the second half of your lace trimming, but what you want to take note is you want them to match up so that both of the Peter Pan collared edgings are the same. Now that you have both sides complete, you want to sew them on top of each other. Now if you have a little extra like this on the edge, you can go ahead and fold that under and then sew them on top. Now we're going to add a button detail in the center. So exactly like your first one, all we're going to do is sew some ribbon onto the end of the lace. Okay, so here's your second completed Peter Pan collar. These are so simple to make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and next I'm going to show you how to put them on. Alright, so as you can see, I placed this one on a crew neck sweater and it just gives it a lot of um, pizzazz. I think it adds a lot of character to the sweater and it's really cute and in style for fall. Okay, so here's the second one. And as you can tell, it's a lot fuller than the first one because it does have two tiers and layers of lace. And I just think it looks really cute. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and this DIY. I tried to make it simple. Um, thumbs up if you like it. Give us more suggestions in the comment box of what you want to see us DIY. And I'll see you next time. Bye!